So it looks like Scamber is still photoshopping files to prove her case. Please make sure you subscribe. Scamber was once again caught manipulating evidence. So Amber's ex-girlfriend, Eve Fartlow, tweeted a conspiracy theory that Camille Vasquez and Dr. Curry are friends and have been recently hanging out. This sort of conspiracy theory about them being friends has been bubbling under the surface with her team for quite some time. Early on in the case, Heard's team went to mainstream media about it, who of course broadcasted that Johnny Depp's team and Dr. Curry had a fancy dinner together, as if to say Dr. Curry's testimony was corrupt and inaccurate. Amber's PR budget to pay off media like this must be enormous, but then again, her baby daddy is the world's richest man, Elon Musk. <laughs> Dr. Curry's testimony was iconic and proclaimed that Amber Heard had not one, but two personality disorders. From Amber's crocodile tears to her, her exaggerated melodrama to writing fake notes on a paper, these statements made by Dr. Curry proved to be accurate as we watch the trial and Amber's disorders unfold before our very eyes. Her's personality disorders included histronic personality disorder, an extreme form of narcissism, and borderline personality disorder. Curry's testimony proved to be accurate because she said people with these issues tend to dress like who they want to fit in with. Amber, throughout the trial, was creepily copying Johnny's looks. I mean, even down to a bumblebee on her tie. Curry also said that Amber exaggerated her PTSD symptoms by answering intensely to every symptom on a psychologist's questionnaire. Answering yes to all these questions is a red flag when it comes to diagnosing PTSD and indicates that someone is embellishing their symptoms. It seems as though Amber was manipulating the questionnaire to ensure she was diagnosed with this disorder to help her case. <laughs> Amber uses real mental illness and stories of true survivors to make herself out to be a victim, which is why a lot of people are upset about this case. I mean, Amber single-handedly destroyed people believing all women. Amber's ex, Salty Fartlow, tweeted out this image, writing that it was proof Dr. Curry was a biased witness. Quote, why is the doctor who did Amber Heard's independent medical examination and appeared as an expert witness on the stand also best friends with Depp's legal counsel, Camille Vasquez? But many are quick to point out how photoshopped this photo looks. Femme Condition points out that the TikTok account this post is attributed to has never posted this image. So it looks like the user's account was overlaid on this group shot in Photoshop, because scrolling through their TikTok page reveals this user, Johnny and Camille, never posted it. It appears this photo was also taken in 2019 because the make of the cell phone was from that year, so it could have been an old photo taken out of context to make it look like they were recently hanging out. This reminds me of how Fartlow got Gina Duters removed as a witness by taking an old social media post and making it look like it was recent. Femme also pointed out the glowing car in the background. It doesn't have any shadows, so it looks like the woman in front was pasted in. Her necklace also appears to be disappearing around her neck, and it looks as though this image of Camille and her friend was lifted from another picture and photoshopped in. It's almost the exact same pose, but just tilted a little bit to make it look like it fits into the shot. And running this photo through a paid forensic program reveals that the faces were photoshopped on. The white marks indicate where the photo was shopped. It appears as though someone photoshopped the faces of the women on the image to make it look like Camille was hanging out with Dr. Curry recently. Amber was caught again manipulating evidence in an attempt to destroy Johnny's case by invalidating Dr. Curry's testimony. The photo implies that Dr. Curry is somehow a corrupt witness, but even if the photo was real, would it be a stretch to say that Dr. Curry and Camille went out to celebrate their win and became friends through the trial? This photo proves nothing. <laughs> 
But it wouldn't be the first time Amber was caught tampering with evidence. Amber tried to get the testimony of Neumeister dismissed from the case. His testimony showed that she was editing her photos. So what do you guys think of Amber Heard continuing to manipulate evidence in an attempt to defame Johnny Depp? I mean, so much for moving on like she testified she would in the trial. Sound off in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe by hitting my face right above Gabby, who's right here. She's shedding. She's very smooth right now, actually.